Okay, sixth grade, one more video. I'm going to show you just real quickly wet on wet technique up here. You've done the branches either with Sharpie or with colored pencil. Now, the best way to do this is to start with a little bit of water on your paper. Now, if this was watercolor, it's gonna run. When you put your water on, be careful not to go on top of your maybe meal, to just go right up to it. Don't get it sopping wet or it's gonna run off in the floor, but get it pretty wet. Then start, I like to start with yellow, my light color first. I don't know if you can see that or not. Start with yellow and just kind of touch it in there and get it on your page. Yellow, right up to Mabry's Mill. I'm just gonna do this one section right here for the video. Okay, and that's pretty, you could leave it like that. But it would be nice, rinse out your brush. Now, this is wet still. My brush is wet. Tickle in the orange, just tickle real gently. And then I'm just gonna come in with a little bit of orange in different places. And I'm just gonna let it bleed right on to the yellow. Now, if you run it over top, you're just gonna get a yellow orange. You're not gonna get the different colors showing. And when it starts to do that bleed, so it's kind of just running and it's kind of stretching, leave it alone. You might even let this dry and work on another area and come back and add the red. I'm gonna go ahead and put a dab of red in, just tickle real gently. Tickle, tickle. Don't push down, just get it on the tip of the brushes. I mean on the bristles. Okay, I'm gonna dot in here a little bit where the white's at. Dot in here. Just a few places where we need some red and just let it kind of do its own thing naturally. But I don't like, just kind of leave it alone. Watercolors don't need to be real vibrant. They usually are kind of muted and see-through. Okay, and that's pretty much all I do with the leaves, okay? And it'll keep working, it'll keep running. Now, I'll go on across here later, but for the sake of time. Okay, now we talked about this down here. What are we doing? Clean out your brush. And I've got blue and I've got brown. I'm gonna put water down here. Don't get it up in your rock. And don't put a huge puddle kind of spread it out. And you don't have to do this. You can leave just the colored pencil there. If you're scared you're gonna mess it up, just leave it. But what I like to do is just a little bit of blue and ooh, I hope I don't have too much. I just barely touched on the end. Yes, it's very see-through. See how it's very see-through? Back and forth, back and forth. Run right up to your rock wall. A little bit dark. It's a little bit dark. Just touch your water. Don't rinse your brush out. Get rid of your paint. Just go over it a little bit. Okay. If you like that blue with the color shining through, leave it. Something else, do not keep going over it and going over it and going over it and going over it. You get little flicks of your paper. When the paper gets wet, if you get little, mm, just little pieces of the paper that's starting to break down because it's too wet, right? I'm just tapping in the brown just a little bit. Back and forth, a little bit, whoa, that's kind of dark. I don't like that right there, so, and I don't like that right there, so I'm just gonna touch in my water. I'm getting it a wee bit wet. And I'm going to wash that away. Okay, and that might just be enough. Leave it alone. See if you like it. If you don't like it, you can come back later. And you can put just a dab more on it if you need to. See, it's pretty blue. I'll get it super. I'm not crazy about that. I'm going to touch in my brown. Just go over it just a little bit. Now, you would be better off 
just leave it alone and see if you like it before you add too much because you can't take it off. Okay, so there is our final, the watercolor part. And it is just about finished.